Big Hits WVTC, it's time now for our 8.30 high beam this Wednesday, and our guest is Carl Sowers, who's the food coordinator at the Twin City Christian Service Center. Carl, hi, thanks for coming in, and um, tell us a little bit, first of all, about uh, the Twin City Christian Service Center. A lot of people know it by a different name. Yeah, most people know it by the food pantry, uh, which we are on 109 North Water Street in New Yorksville, right beside Federated Auto. Uh, used to be the yellow building now it's painted gray so kind of bringing into the modern times now but uh yeah we're really excited for things we have going on uh this week uh sunday uh, may 15th is going to be our big week we have a open house which is going to help celebrate our 35th anniversary in the twin cities that's amazing so this started way back when as a service center uh what do you do now? What are the uh, the main things that uh, are being accomplished at the food pantry slash service center? Uh, yeah, it used to be the service center because we used to do services such as the rent and pay for prescriptions and things like that. But now it's kind of migrated to the uh, food pantry itself. So we provide uh, free food for people, uh, canned goods, meats, dry goods, things like that, uh, dairy products. And um, the only thing we need from you is to bring a current address, an ID or something like that, and we'll be happy to service you. So you don't have to have any proof of income, anything like that? No, we don't care what you make. Uh, We are more of a needs pantry uh, instead of a pantry for those who uh, are low income. There's people out there now, especially with the economy today, we are really starting to pick up and we need you to come in. But a celebration is what we're looking at for for this Sunday. Uh, What's entailed with this open house? Yeah, 35 years in the Twin Cities, which is really awesome. Uh, See, I've I've been married 36 years, so (laughs) it's close to that. And um, we are going to have just an open house. We did a lot of updates. Uh, If you know where the building is, it used to be the old Evening Chronicle building back in the day. A lot of people know it by that. But, uh, of course, it was old back then. We tried to bring it into the new. So we have some new, we have painting going on. We have new flooring put in. We have uh, just a variety of things going on. We want you to come in for our open house. Show, we want to showcase our building. Uh, there's going to be refreshments there for you. There's going to be some door prizes there for you to sign up. Most of all, we want you to come in, take a look, see what this, the food pantry is all about. Maybe get a chance to sign up and help uh, volunteer. And I was just going to say, the people there are not being paid, right? No, we, we have zero employees that are paid. Everybody's a volunteer. Um, kind of me, I'm, I'm 61. I'm one of the young ones there. So we have up to, uh, if you know Anna Lou Maurer, had Maurer Brothers um, plumbing over there, uh, she's 93. Mm. She still comes in and helps out. So there's no need for you not to come in if you need something to do we'll find something for you to do we'd love to have you you were mentioning this might be great for somebody who needs to finish those service hours to get a diploma right yeah the graduation is right around the corner <laughs> so, and a lot of you need uh you know some volunteer hours uh come on in we're open monday tuesday and thursday from 9 30 to 12 45 and one really important one is the wednesday evening uh, 5.30 to 7.45. So if you can come in in the evening and help out, we would love to have you. Do you take food donations? And if so, uh, where are those dropped? Yeah, we do take food donations. They're done during our regular hours that we're open. Uh, and we are funded through donations uh, monetarily. Um, that's how we thrive and that's what gets us through. So pays the bills, helps us get food that we need from the uh, Akron Canton Regional Food Bank. Mm-hmm. We do go to Canton for the at the new facility and pick up now, which makes it a lot nicer for us. Yeah, shorter trip, less gas, that's really good. And again, the celebration is Sunday and you just like to kind of highlight uh, what things are like now, right? Absolutely, yeah. We have a, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a, a photography thing going on there. The Back then, the way it was, how they moved from different places. Because when they first originally started, they were done over by the depot in a one-room building. And then it migrated uh, to behind where the old Dollar General store was in Uriesville. Then it went to the, where the 311 wine room was at. And then we currently 16 years in our building right now. Well, very good. If anybody has questions uh, about the open house or about donations or uh, know somebody that they think uh, could use the service how do they get a hold of you or somebody there yeah they can call our building over there at 740-922-6276 or they can go on our website the twin city christian service center and just looks up and send a message 
Sounds easy enough. Carl, thanks a lot. Good luck with the open house, and uh, hey, we'll see you soon. All right, absolutely. Thanks, Brad. That's Carl Sowers. He's the food coordinator for the Twin City Christian Service Center, the food pantry, here on our 830 High Beam on the BT Morning Show.